All right, guys, I'm testing out another, well, operating system. I don't know where I got it from anymore. So I think in some chat or something, I clicked on a link super X. I don't even know if it's connected again with um, Arch Linux, Arch Linux, ALCI, or school of university, like right? building ISIS, right? I don't know. So just booting up again. Let's see what this, this actually is. So I'm really surprised because I totally forgot and we got here. All right, we got something. Super X, whatever it is. Let's see what I downloaded. It's definitely Plasma. Okay, please choose the language and use installation progress. All kind of things to choose. Try, install, I am an installer guy. And we got here layout. US probably gonna be issues for me. Dutch is bad as well. Belgian variant Belgian. Okay, continue. So it's definitely nothing arch related, I think, but we'll see. We don't want updates, so I'm gonna not use it later on. Use entire disk, yeah, sure. This is strange. This one zero B whatever right use entire disk continue he's probably creating all kinds of things already which is is actually well copying f first right so we have the feeling that it's fast it's installed fast but because it's already installing in calamars we're actually still checking things right we're still choosing things and then the end we install so here is already installing so he's um, it's like uh, when you run and uh, do a sprint and you somebody fires a gun right somebody is already gone <laughs> he's already copying all right so it's, it's, you can't compare this one with calamar then okay require looking automatically let's have a look right what we are greeted with so welcome to Super X 5.0 Lamar. Welcome, thank you for choosing. Let's have a look. We've got Firefox, Chromium, KTorrent. We've got VLC, Music Player, Cardian Live. We've got GIMP, Gwenview, Paint. We've got LibreOffice. We've got Find Even More Software. The Super X App Store. A super interesting place to browse. Work in progress. At the core is, of course, KDE Plasma 5. We could have guessed it with, yeah, the wallpaper. But it's not, um, it's it's right mouse click, it doesn't do anything. So it's a pass through kind of approach that uh, we had in the past in Arclix as well. So uh, Arclix D actually is still a pass through because there's nothing there. It's, please do a bare installation or choose more during Calamars, but that's the the old guys will remember the Antergos base thing that we could do in the past. That's basically Arcmix D. If you don't select anything in Calamars, you get a black screen. You say sudo pacman minus s xfc4 xfc4 goodies. Boom! You've got xfc. Decide if you want to have lightm, sdm. That's it. Security by design, Plasma Vault, standard Plasma. App Armor, not sure if that's standard, but it's quickly researched, right? App Armor, Armor, there you are. Mandatory access control Mac using Linux security, it's even on my Arch Linux here, so yeah. Installation is complete. Restart now. I want to know what is this actually? Is this pseudo Pacman? Is this apt-get uh, things? I don't know. This is nice, right? Eric is here. Virtual keyboard is there. Whoa, that's big. And desktop session. Uh -huh. I can go for Plasma. Don't go in Wayland in VirtualBox. And then for the rest. Okay. Whoa. Did I 
Uh, it's, I think, selected. Okay, I cannot unselect it. I guess we will have to live with it. Login. Amtron, I guess that's uh, somebody who supports them financially. That's this kind of menu, right? Right mouse click, configure application dashboard. Which one do you want? You can change all these things, the icon up here. You can add more menus, but that's not the way. So it's not included. The add menu there. All applications, cheese is there. Computer control panel, Chromium, disk usage, FileZilla, Firefox. She parted image viewer K breakout. Awesome idea. Yeah. Played a lot of that until I had better things to do. Pot title gay. Potato gay. System monitor, spectacle, terminal, wallet manager. Voila. That's it. All application in one go. There was a Super X store, Eric. What's that? A Super X app store is. this thing about the super x store version 1.0 you get download manager getting all the icons i guess and so on um yeah so control t reflex yep it's gonna work super uh so control t is gonna work do we do we do we do we do we uh have something it's made in india okay fine we read that amtron asam electronics development corporation ltd amtron uh-huh uh, pseudo pacman or is it apt install Firefox is already there but yeah it's an Debian based system um, I don't know Spotify can we just launch it unable to locate Spotify and then the re the search starts of course where do I find my packages maybe here I don't know can have a look if Spotify exists. Spotify. Mopify is not the same as Spotify. Uh, we can do an update sudo apt something. So press tab. That's too much. So do they, they mean that 73,016 possibilities? Do you want that printout? Yes, sure. So apps uh, not install update and upgrade those are the guys you need update unable to locate update okay am I mistaking upgrade does that exist uh huh so I guess it's an app get update unable to locate the package apt get but apt exists, does it? No LSB modules are available. Okay. New fetch. Screen fetch. Just fetch. <laughs> Pseudo apt install. New fetch. Yay. A nice penguin. Pseudo. But why doesn't he if he if apt exists? What am I doing wrong? Man apt. Install package search show update. It says there. Update. So pseudo apt update. Ah uh, don't know what I type, but that's normal. Pseudo apt update.
Packages can be upgraded. Up to list upgradable to see them. Sure. You can list them to me. Uh huh. UTEF, wireless stuff. System D, Bionic update. So it's, I guess it's Ubuntu. Yeah, there it is. Ubuntu. 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 Sorry. So, if I want to update, I suppose upgrade. And there we go. On the run, five newly installed, one downgraded, zero to remove, zero not upgraded. Off you go. Super XOS upstream bionic updates main AMD 64. Uh huh. And off it goes installing stuff. In the system settings, I was just gonna look at the system settings. Where is my icon here? This control panel to have a look. We don't have the sidebar view. That's much better. Voila. We have the system information, a nice little logo, Super XOS, 64 bits, software sources. It wants to have no my password. So we got these PPAs, you look it up what it stands for again for packages, authentication keys, maintenance, software updates. We are already updating Thunderbolt. Maybe we'll have a look at the global theme. So it's Super X, Plasma style, Super X 5O Lamar, location style and colors, font, not all suns, icons, breeze, but humanity, so Ubuntu icons are here as well. Cursors, breeze, and all kinds of normal stuff, right? The standard stuff. This is not standard, and X firewall. I don't know if we've got that. Let's have a look. What do you have for firewall? Firewall. We have firewall D. Okay. Control Alt T. Paru. Or Yay, or Horizon, or Aura. Ah, I have never shown Aura to you guys. So Aura and then uh, an X firewall will give me nothing. I guess I need to say search or something, or Q or something. Ale, Q, firewall. I guess I still need to know, to learn the stuff. Small Q, no. Okay, too much time lost already. NX firewall. Voila, so we do have it. It's a KCM module for file from NX desktop. We could install it with AOR number two. And this one is mod security. All right, learn something. We always learn something when we install other distros. Voila, I've looked at it, seen it and installed it i hope upgraded it because it says progress zero because i need to tell him something update mod d default uh, enter now it's installing so it was something about the mod d and mod d is actually is kind of stupid a little file that's somewhere on your system do we have a file manager um Jesus, what's the name again? The file manager of Plasma is Gonzale Gate and Dolphin. There you are. Dolphin was hiding in my brain. I guess it's computer. Yeah. They've made this thing here. Dolphin. Eh? So mod D, where it's gonna be? It's gonna be in ETC. 
mot do they have it mod 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 there's no mod should be in here in between here so I don't know what that is but we have actually starts off with a mod d file somewhere in their um, configuration so if you go to the arch iso if you have arch iso installed on your arch linux system user share and then arch iso is the application where with which arch linux creates its iso and they have this mod d thing right the mod d thing is just saying hey to install arch linux follow the installation guide wiki original we've deleted that thing because it brings it has issues with um, GNOME. When you log in, you see this text. That's not nice. Follow. Always more, right? I always tell you more, give you some insight that don't think in boxes. Think be inclusion is the word, right? There is there are more things that are the same in Linux than they are different. That's how I would like to approach Linux because we're all working on a kernel and we're all working with VirtualBox and with um, Firefox and with Google Chrome or whatever. 2,190 packages in here. KDE, KWIN, Breeze, Gonzole. Voila. So there are more things that are the same in my feeling, in my perception. Then there are different. So I don't like to think in boxes, but I do like to look over the fence and have a look at other people having other creative ideas how an operating system should look and should work. And the applications they develop. I guess this is a new guy, Super X. We can actually type, if we type Super X, then this is the application for them. It's the same if we type Arclix, you'll see all the applications we have. All right, I am out, seen it, approved it, and if you like it, install it and have fun. Cheers.